day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Other brothers show up we'll, we'll let them i'll talk to them about it as well uh so i'm, I'm gonna just pray first father i thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name you said when two or three got in your name you've been missing them i now invite you to see the, the presence of the holy spirit to come into our presence lead us and guide us in truth as in the father move us out of the way and let the holy spirit have his way as he give us understanding revelation of your word the deep meaning and be able to not, not only receive a deep meaning of the word of god but be able to Share that meaning to those who you have called in the day to receive the word of God. We are sowers. We will plant your word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I was I was looking at the uh, uh, you know was was talking about First Corinthians, uh, I guess uh, First Corinthians thirteen, and you know we we're looking at those first four verses. And, and I think last week we was talking about the fact is that, you know, we're, we're basically uh, released from the law. But I was just wondering, did you, in your mind, do you think people actually, uh, no, we went to Romans, and which one we went to? We went to Romans, excuse me, we went to Romans. But I want to go back to <laughs> the law for again. Do you think, that the the great commandment itself uh which is two of them love the lord that god with all thy heart with all thy soul all thy mind all thy strength and love thy neighbor thyself the question i have is is that missing in the message uh on a on a day-to-day week-to-week uh services is uh do believers even if, if those are the two great commandments do you think most people would know what those commandments are and know that if those are the great commandments wouldn't that should be an emphasis in all the messaging that that, that goes with the scriptures people know what they're taught they know i know and and i was sitting there Listening to that, I was talking to uh, Tongues on yesterday, and I was I was talking about the uh, one 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 conversation was about well, and I think I sent it out to you yesterday too. Uh, somebody in the text, somebody from TikTok or something was saying is that they're leaving the not Christ, but they're leaving the the the, the church because of all the you know stuff like the bickering, the judgmental. Uh, you know, just just all gamuts of reason of saying is that the institution has been more of a division, right? Opposed to uh, what the true gospel is all about, and and the true gospel uh, is 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 it's all about the fact is that God so loved the world, right? And He gave His Son so that we could be saved. But he also said, though, is that I want you to love your neighbor. You know, that's what went into the Samaritan thing is to love your neighbor as yourself. And I wonder, has it, I've seen a lot of cases where people will say, I love God, I love Jesus. I mean, you you see it, you heard it all the time. Lord, oh, you know, they glorify God, which is fine. That's the, it, just like the church of Samaritan, uh, is to, to, to love, don't forget your first love. But I, I, I wonder if it's the, it's, and I, based on something, uh, systematic uh, racism, uh, all the way from, all the way back when the Roman Empire took over or incorporated Christianity into the gospel, has the emphasis of loving one another been, been emphasized in the body of Christ. Now, here's the issue. Uh, now, the scripture says that the fruit of the Spirit mm -hmm. is love. Yes, sir.
get this thing to fall out of the Yes, sir. And if the mind has been renewed to the point for the Spirit of God in you, can work in you. Right. Then he is going to take care of all of the character cards. Okay. And you see in practical application, Jesus addressed all kinds of issues. Right. But he understood that not only are the gifts to be coupled and undergirded by love, but that love is, you know, integral to everything that we do. Everything, exactly, right. See, love is kind of like the underlying motivation Everything that's happening in the kingdom is motivated by love. Right, right. So the so the spirit of God there, uh, and that's what the last three things are about. The spirit of God there is seeking to work. Faith, hope, and charity. Right. Into the lives of every believer. So those those three things are foundation. Uh uh, it, it says that faith operates or works by or is fueled by love. By love. Now, see, now you're talking, right? The, the, and I, I think the, the question, though, too, is though, is that when, when, when a person says love, right? Do they do they do they understand that is love your neighbor? as well, right? Even to include love yourself. The, the, you know, I just wonder sometimes if, if you if you did a word game and asked somebody to say, when I said love, what, what comes in your mind? Uh, and and even you say, couple that with Christ, when you say love, what does that mean? What does that tell you? Uh, what, they, uh, what encapsulates, does it encapsulate Love the Lord that God with all the heart, all the soul, all the mind, all the strength, and your neighbor. So that, like you said, if you if you if you're gonna go to, you know, who used to talk about, uh, I think with Big Elder going to 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 Grady or going to Warner Robins and and, and 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 laying his hands on the people that are sick. And and like you said, is that if if it, it is unless God told him to do it. It ain't gonna have no power behind it. But the other part is, if it's not, if he's not going to do it out of love, then then it also has not, like you said in the earlier, it didn't. It has not a motivation to it. it doesn't have a, a a drive to it. it. Doesn't have a meaning or purpose to it. Uh, here's, here's the problem. The spirit of God is the one that has his finger on the love trigger. Mm, okay. Okay. So this absence that you're seeing is not so much about a consciousness as it is about there's something ain't right in the relationship. Yes. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> something ain't right in the relationship. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, we, listen, see, see, I'm, I'm telling you what Jesus said. Jesus said that the, I'm telling my wife, said that Jesus said the gate is straight and the way is narrow and few that be that find it. Okay. Uh-huh. See, see, we expected a whole bunch of folks to see this thing. Yeah. Right. But I'm only to recognize now that it is it is far easier to remain in the flesh. Yes. That to remain calm. Right. Than it is to become spiritual and the mature and you ain't even allowed to talk about perfection because they don't even want to hear that when you say the, when you say perfection they start walking out the building yes right right, right. so so there are two things you're going to find out that's not happening in the church in terms of teaching 
Now the church will not talk about sin, and the church will not talk about love. Yes. It's so those two things. Now, now the world won't talk about sin is because we have made such compromises. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And because because we have so little evidence in our own lives, and the emergent see the emergent church pointed that out. Mm. I follow Rob Bell in the emergent church. That's happening inside of the church. There's huh. a church. The church being born inside the church, and what they say is, and that's where we get all the gays and lesbian pastors and all this crazy stuff. They say, Look, uh, look, our first observation is that we notice that your lives don't look like scripture. Oh, okay, yes, sir. you say one thing, you criticize the gays and lesbians, you don't say nothing about the deacon sleeping with all the women, pastors sleeping with all the women, pastors greedy for money. Right. You don't say nothing about that, right. Right. That's if that's if, if gay and lesbianism is wrong, then that's wrong. Exactly. Right. The question is, you tolerated it. You live with it, and then when the gays come into the church, you tell them they can't go. Exactly. Right. Come on, man. See it, and we're looking at you and saying, "Well, well, what is that over there?" Exactly. Right. So they find that there's an inconsistency across the board. Right. With the churches walk in terms of holiness and deliverance from sin. Come on, sir. Right. So I, now they done got to the point where they're not, not, not like, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not take that and go with it. Right. But we, we, we cannot talk about sin because you look at all the mess that go on in church, man. Right. That's what like, I'm Fighting and bickering and and selfish and self-centered and clicks and that's crazy stuff. Exactly, right. Where's that, my seat? It becomes clear to the casual observer. Unsafe for working now. That ain't right. Well, that's the point. They, they, that's what they, they recognize and they see it. And they say, what's the difference between no, you? I hate that. They, what they say, that ain't God. <laughs> well, that ain't God, right. That ain't it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We want to know a whole lot of things, but that ain't God. <laughs> right. You know, and 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 I and I want to emphasize because I'm saying is that the the even in the, if you remember, the, I was looking at the uh, I guess one of the TV uh, documents that I guess was saying about the love, the '60s, and you you and you know, cause you remember the song like the Beatles came out, it's all about his love, everything is about his love, and then they were talking. Uh, you remember that Vietnam time, peace and love, right? And, and 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 you said that was a good philosophy, a good point. Uh, but but when when you saw what they were showing in love, you know, I'm talking about the '60s and the '70s, early '70s. It was based on sexual uh, emphasis about love. You know what I mean? It it, it, it they, they were showing in the, the uh, I guess I was sitting there. They were showing people running around and and, and naked. Uh, at, at Woodstock or other places, and and, and they were saying it's, it's love. It's the issue is love, but it was it was it was more of a you know erotical love, not filial love, not a goppy love. And that I guess, was huh huh flesh, drugs, all kinds of drugs, all kinds of ideology. That was a that was an ungodly attempt, right? To counterfeit uh-huh and you can expect the enemy to do that though exactly it will counterfeit the, the the real thing because counterfeiting the real thing actually push you under his control yes sir right he's trying to do with jesus in the in temptation in the wilderness he's all he's trying to do is get jesus under his control right and that's why that's why being filled with the Spirit of God and and the lightning work that the Spirit of God does when it comes down to looking at Scripture. Yes, sir. So that when you look at life, you can discern. Because you see, when you look at Scripture, what the Spirit reveals to you in Scripture is acting an abstract, an abstraction of what real reality is. Right. He wants to take the abstract concept and turn it into a living reality. Come on. Yes, sir. 
the bowling. Right, right. So, but but if but if but if you if you see anything from further to twist it, the Indian wants to twist the abstract reality of truth and turn that into a living reality. A living reality. Right. right, right. So that is why uh, the renewal of the mind and the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and who God is, the spirit of God has to have full control of it so that he protects you from all of the counterfeiting that's going on. Right, right. That, that's why the last days they said that men shall, be, shall become... Uh, the lovers, the, the, was that in there? Loving themselves too? Was that in there? Well, they're going to become... They're going to refuse sound doctrine. Yes, sir. And they're going to be... They're going to they're going to grab hold of the doctrine of the devil. Okay. Yeah. Because now they're not grabbing hold to the doctrine of the devil because it's, it it looks evil and wicked. They're grabbing hold to the doctrine of the devil because it's a counterfeit that looks like the real thing. Right. Yes. You see, if somebody handed you a, a hundred dollar bill that was orange, you start laughing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm stupid? They ain't one hundred dollars. They're first of all the color wrong. So the devil is okay. Don't hand them anything that they don't need to have a form of God in. It yes. must have a form of God. Right. If it's got a form of God, yes. we've got a chance. Know what you do when you go fishing? Uh huh. You put this hard rule on there that look like a bait. Look like a red wiggler. Yeah. Right. Look like a cricket. Right. Oh, the fish ain't going for nothing. When the fish make something, that ain't no bait, man. That's a, it's got to have a, it's got to have the real thing look. And yeah. so the Indian understands that. Right. It's a whole counterfeit that have a form of God to it. Mm. Because he has found it is very effective. Yes, sir. And it, and like I said, so he he take the 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 uh, the form of God in this. Like, like you said, talking the 60s, running around naked and all that other stuff and saying, this is love. And 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 I guess the question sometimes is, do people know what love means, right? Defining love itself. It, uh, like, you know, like the people who never had a father, right? They, they don't really understand what the love of a father is. And then when we talk about even where you have a father and a mother and they don't, if they give you everything, remember like you spoil the child, right? You, 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 cause you love, you, you, you're doing it out of love. It's like, I, I, I don't discipline the child. I, 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 uh, I, uh, I give the child everything I didn't have. And then you, you find it's like, why is this, does that, why this doesn't work? It's because you're not, sometimes love does require discipline uh, and correction. But if you read the scripture, you know that. You, you know that the scripture says that foolishness is bound on the heart of a child. Yes, sir. Right. But the heart of correction will drive it far from it. Mm -hmm. It says the whom the Lord loves. He chased it. He chased it. Right. Right. Why? They didn't invent some new concept that says, I got another way. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, God already got a way. Now, if you're in the kingdom, you can't bring your way in. Yes. Right. When you realize that your way is the wrong way. Yes, sir. Right. But, but see, see, so, so, like I said, love will address all forms of sin. It's saying, look, it's not that I, I want to make sure y'all say I'm not condoning you, I, but I love you, and I want you to get this gospel. I want you to get this truth. But that truth sometimes is not going to be what you want to hear, but is what you need to hear. You see, but love will not exceed the boundary that is set by God. Yes, sir. You see, that's that. See, that's why that's why it hinges on the spirit of God. That's why you. That's why it all depends on on a person being filled with the spirit of God and, and being trained and taught and instructed how to be led by the spirit of God. Mm. You can take any one of these things, you see, and, and, and go to find it and go to find it in a way that God never intended. Right. Okay. Okay. You see, the other thing that the scripture said that you ought to speak the truth of love, that love brings with it 
a definite form of accountability. Yes. Accountability. Yes, sir. See, see listen, I love you, but I ain't, you ain't, I ain't gonna lie anything now. Come on now. Right, right. It's not in your benefit that I did. Because, because it's dangerous, not only for you, it's dangerous for me. Come on, okay. So that's why Jesus is telling you to see a little leaven. Yes. Yeah. I leaven the whole lump. Yes, sir. Come on. Exactly. So so that's why I think it is that that emphasis of uh like you said, not talking so much of uh it it, it should address sin, but it should address sin in love. It should address uh, membership or to go get somebody or, or minister the gospel to people to equip the saint, equip the saints to operate from the point of position of love. Hey, I mean, Bishop Elder, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing great. I, I, I was, uh, Bishop, I was talking. He got I heard grade. that word, you know. He got to go at nine. We, we, the, the thing was, I was, I was bringing up, I shifted a little bit. It was on Romans 7, uh, but I, I wanted to, to, to go back a little bit back on the love again because yeah. the, it was talking the fact is, uh, is it the, what's motivating you in the ministry? Yeah. If, if love right. is not behind it, love doesn't initiate it. Then, then it's, not, it's not operating from the Spirit of God, it's operating out of the counterfeits of life, you know? Like, I agree. You know, For some reason or another, this morning when I was waking up, the first thing was on my mind. My love, right? Yeah, it was. It was weird because when I got up this morning, my thoughts went right to that. Because I, I remember the scripture where it said, love covers the multitude of sins. And I remember we talked earlier, and we were saying love covered with other things, but with some other aspect, you know, that that, that was, the, that was the, the formula that actually caused things to, 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 uh, to uh, work. Yeah. Know? But it said that love... Faith worketh by love, so you gotta have love and faith. Yes. You gotta have love and something else, love and something else. But in that one particular scripture, it only mentions love. And it says love covers a multitude of sins. Uh-huh. And that was it. Yes. Yeah, but, but to cover a multitude of sins in and of itself, by itself, I mean, that says a lot because sin is the thing that separates us from God. So love is the is the is the it's the, and that's where I came back with the first, what was it, that, um, what, do you, what do we call it, the C, uh, uh, central uh, idea? Yes, central idea text, uh-huh. Yeah, that, 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 that CIT, and it said that's low the foundation of our belief system. Right. If that's not in place, nothing else works. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and, and you can have just that, and you have something going forward. Right. But if you don't have love in the mix, nothing else works. Paul said, Let me Do I speak with the tongue language? Do I understand all mysteries? Do I understand this, 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 this? But he said, If I don't have love or charity in the midst of that, I'm sounding brass to the tinker symbol. It profits me nothing. nothing. It's like if without love, nothing works. Yeah, but here's the problem. See, here's the problem, you see. See, if you put the emphasis on love, you miss the boat. Okay, okay. Because love is the fruit of the spirit. Okay. And what the scripture admonishes you to do is to be filled with the spirit. Filled with the spirit, right? No, no. okay, so then. Filled with the spirit, but see, because now, don't get me wrong now. Though love is the undergirding motivation, love also comes with accountability mm -hmm. and discipline. Yeah. So, well, I think what God really wants us to do, what God is really trying to do, is to get, a, get control of your being by way of the Spirit. Yeah. And the Spirit of God will work in all of the essential things, love, patience, long-suffering, meekness, the character of Christ will be brought in. But if you put the focus on any one of those truths. Okay, okay. Well, see, and, 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 so that, that takes it back to another, another place. 
Because scriptures identify God as love. Mm -hmm. And so God the spirit is. of God is going to be the spirit of love. If, if, we, if we can title turn them together. Yeah. So if God is love, then what we're asking for, we have to be filled with the spirit, it has to be filled with the spirit with love. It's, it's kind of difficult to get It's a get package right now. Yeah. If it becomes really, it's, it's a simple concept when we look at it from that perspective. When we pray for the Holy Ghost, we're actually praying for the love of God. Not, not the love of God, but God who is love to be in us. In us. It, it, the only only way we have been able to identify God so far in a singular term has been love. Yeah. God is love. Okay, well, hold on. Let me help you out with something. But the scripture also says that God is holy. Yes. Yes. You, you understand? The scripture is going to give you a whole cadre of things to describe the character and the person of God. Mm. And, and, but the emphasis cannot be on any one of those things. The emphasis has to be on the life itself. If the life is there, all of those things are there. That's why, you, that's, why, that's why you can't get distracted now and start looking at love or faith. You see, you got people out there who got faith, ministry, healing, ministry, love, ministry, and they ain't none of that God. Because God is all of that. He I, not, he's not any individual one of those things. I, 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 I don't when think that's when, the, when the scripture talk about Jesus, it don't describe Jesus in love. Hey, what? Because he's in the manifestation of Jesus in life. <laughs> I'm the way, the truth, and life. Okay. Listen, listen. John said, and the life was manifested. In one John, what John said, the life was manifested, and we have seen it. So it, see, when the life is manifested, everything that is in that life is manifested. Oh, and anyone trying to lure us off into any one of these particulars. Okay. But remember the spirit, the spirit that said. He who has not love doesn't have the Father. I mean, if, if you don't have love, then you don't have God. It, yeah. it said that. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like like you ain't got holiness. You ain't got the Father. <laughs> Nowhere is it it's expressed like that, though. Yeah, but uh, it, 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 express, it expresses love as an attribute, yeah. but, or, 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 or it's always with an adjective. It's, right. described, it's a description of God, but it does, never describes it as a noun. So it's not saying that it's synonymous to God, it's saying it's an attribute of God. Of God. But when it speaks in terms of love, it speaks in terms of love as being God. Yeah. It's, it, he says God is love, not God has love. But God is. Listen, though, but it says God is holy. Well, we agree. I think, I think love, I think, I think we can say love is holy. You know what yeah. I mean? No. no. I, th I think that, that, no. that's where it's at, yeah. Oh, God is, no, holiness has a totally different meaning from love. Does it, does it, does it, does because holiness has a, it includes love, right? In other words, you can't, you can't have, you can't be holy without love, correct? And not and have love. If you don't have love, you can't be holy. Listen, I'm but you can be. Is that if that were true? Okay. Then the scripture would never say about it holy. Well, I think that. Say again. If that was true, the scripture would never say that God is holy. And the scripture says that God is holy a whole lot more than it says God is love. But is it, you go to, you go to Revelation, you go to Revelation, and holiness begins to become the the the, the buzzword. <laughs> but when I come to God. But I do know that. Like, and where is it? Is it at? It's, I'm sorry. Right. But I do I do know, bitch. I was sitting there looking at this. Interesting. When you know when you go to the church, the letters of the church, and I, I put it up here real quick. The first church that they're talking about is, is oh, Ephesus. Ephesus. But the verse four was very interesting because we had talked many times about it before it was saying is that that nevertheless remember he said you did all these good things but nevertheless i have this against thee yeah because you love you thou has left that first love you know what i mean i i i just wondered about that that the, the, the well the emphasis of it is the fact is the first love is God and then the second